So as you can see here that uh, this is the option that it is giving me to create a bucket. Currently there is no bucket present here but uh, if you want to create it you can create from this option. So it will basically help you to store and retrieve any amount of data from anywhere. All right. So let's click on this create bucket option. And now you can see that this is the form that it has given me. After uh, that I will give a bucket name like uh, what you can say um, bucket upload all file. All right. So once it is given, uh, after that I have to uh, select a region. You can select any region that you uh, that is nearest to you. But I will select the Mumbai region that is nearest to me. And uh, let's uh, scroll down and leave the option as it is. And after that, this is the uh, public access option that it is giving me. So I will uncheck this uh, box because I want this. Uh, uh, application for the public access for the testing purpose and that, that's the reason if you want to bl block the access you can block it from here but currently for the testing purpose I am uh, opening this application and after that once this uh, application is done I will delete this bucket all right so I will acknowledge this and after that uh, let's uh, leave the details as it is and uh, leave these things and let's create a bucket Alright, so as you can see here that it is giving me an option that the bucket with the name, same name already exists. So I will change this like uh, by writing my bucket. So it is uh, still giving me the error. So I will write what you can say. Bucket upload file 1 like this. This time it won't give me an error. Alright, bucket upload file 1. So let's uh, copy this also because it will be used further. So save this, create this all right so yeah now you can see that this is the bucket upload file one is now created so after that if i click on this you can see that currently no file is present there so now what i will do i will create a file uh, in the visual studio code and after that uh, i will make a function and once this function is executed the file will be automatically transferred here all right so what I what I will do as you can see here that I have already created a, a directory by the name of file upload and this is the profiles.txt so I have uh, collected some of the profiles of the github from uh, of different users so this is the just a file that I have uh, created it and after that what I will do I will create another file by the name of main.go file in this file I will write my main code uh, go, go code so let's write uh, package main and after that let's write function main all right once this function is created what i will do i will write cfg first of all i will write these things and after that i will tell you what each of these things uh, is doing cfg uh, and let's write what you can say config load uh, what you can say load default config and uh, after that context to do and uh, the next thing is to write the config with region uh, region is this app south one so this is the mumbai region that is app uh, south one so that's this is the region that i have given it and let's write error nil uh, log fatal failed to load uh, the sdk sdk uh, what you can say v and this is the error message after that let's write what you can say client uh, client would be s3 and uh, new from new from config sfg let's write uh, errors is equal to upload file so let's write upload File. this is a function that I'm going to create by the name of upload file but first of all I need to call this function so inside this function I will write client that is called here and let's write the bucket name the bucket name is this one uh, a bucket upload file one all right so this is the bucket name and after that the file name would be given so the file name is profiles.txt this is the file name that I'm going to give here all right so let me just write it first and I will show you each process one by one so yeah and let's write the error log fatal failed to what you can say upload uh, fail to uh, fail to upload the file and this is the error after that let's write print line uh, what you can say 
फाइल इज सक्सेसफुली अपलोडेड लाइक दिस सो लेट्स राइट दिस इक्वल टू नाउ इट विल वर्क फाइन सो बेसिकली वॉट इट डज दिस इज द लोड डिफॉल्ट कंफिग्रेशन फंक्शन दैट विल बेसिकली लोड द Uh, AWS configuration. All right, so the AWS configuration will be load using this functionality by using this region. As you can see here, that this is the Mumbai region that I have given it, and based on this region, it will load the AWS SDK configuration. And if the configuration is not loaded, then it will give me this error that hey, fail to load the SDK configuration. But after that, if the uh, configuration is loaded, then what it will do? It will create a client. client all right so the client would be s3 client and basically uh, with the help of this s3 client uh, it will apply those configuration in it all right so the the sdk configuration will be applied in this s3 client that i have created it all right after that once this configuration uh, are applied in this client then what it will do it will upload the file uh, that uh, in the s3 bucket using the client and by giving the bucket name and by giving the file name all right so with the help of this client and with the help of this uh, bucket name and the file name the file will be transferred into the s3 bucket all right with the help of this client and with the help of this configuration data of the sdk well if the file is not uploaded in the aws then it will give me this message that hey fail to upload the file but if it is uploaded then it will give me this message that file is successfully uploaded but now what i will do i will create a, a function that i have just uh, uh, right uh, called it here uh, this is the upload fun file function that i need to create and after that once this upload function is created then i can transfer this file all right so let's write upload file and inside this the first one is the client you can see that i have already written and after that let's write um, s3 s3 bucket s3 uh, client like this s3 client now let's write bucket and after that the file name these things are string all right so let's write error as the returning value oh, all right so error like this once it is done what i will do i will create a file Uh, like file error is equal to os open so it will open a file that i will give it here as you can see there is the file name that i will give it and it will open this file for me all right so once this file is opened so this is the file name basically all right after that when the uh, when the file will be opened the content of the file will be saved in this file directory all right this is only the file name that will be fetched and read after that the content of the file will be uh, present in this file data or uh, file variable all right so let's write law return error like this after that let's write what you can say defer defer file close so what it does basically all the functionalities that i will write it uh, below also all these functionalities will be uh, done and after that at the end this uh, defer file dot close will be executed in order to close this file all right when these all functionalities are completed then this close functionality will work in order to close the file all right so yeah after that let's write uh, what you can say input so the input that i will take uh, the first input will be uh, first of all what i will write s3 what you can say s3 and uh, um, put object put object input like this and it will take the object input by taking the bucket that is the bucket that i will give it here you can see here that this is the bucket and once this is create given after that what i will do i will write the key so the key would be file name and it will take the file name and it will also take the file content also that is present in the what you can say in the file all right so i need i have forgotten something and that is to write as aws string so the bucket and the file name would be written in the S, uh, aws string like this now this will work fine all right so basically it will take the bucket it will take the file name and it will take the file content and make it an input now after that once these input are collected what i will do 
I will write error like uh, this error is equal to what you can say uh, config sorry I have to take uh, s3 yeah s3 put uh, sorry I, I need to write config uh, conf, uh, client or config yeah config um, put object like this or it should be like s3 client put object this is the thing that I have forgotten about it like what it would be client object ah uh, yeah client object it would be the client object uh, that I have uh, written it here you can see there's the client object and after that this is the context to do and after that let's write uh, what you can say input all right so I need to So I need to put the ampersand sign here. So after that, as you can see here, that it is not giving me an error. After that, let's write return uh, error like this. So now this is done. If I scroll up, you can see that it is still giving me an error by saying that a log fatal call has possible formatting directive. So what I will do, I will write F here, log fatal F. Similarly, log fatal F like this. So now it will not giving me an error. So save this and let's write go run main dot go. No such file or directory. I need to go to the file upload directory like uh, cd file upload like this. If I write go run main dot go. Now you can see that the file is successfully uploaded. If I refresh this. You can see that the profiles.txt file is successfully uploaded here. All right. Now this is working fine. If I open this for you, you can see here that this is the owner or this is the region, all these details of this file. All right. So, yeah. So you can check them out. And uh, after that, the next thing that I'm going to do is to let's delete this because I don't need it. Uh, let's delete it from here. Once it is given hit, I will just write permanently delete like this option. And let's write like this. Now you can see that the file is deleted now. Let's go to the buckets. Let's delete this bucket also. Now let's write the name of the bucket. That is this one. And uh, after that, now you can see that bucket is deleted now after that what i will do i will uh, just change the name of these things like uh, uh, region your region uh, just change the name of them and after that your bucket name uh, your bucket name and after that uh, files to be uploaded file file name to be uh, file name uh, to be uploaded like this all right so the file name should be given here and the bucket name and after that the region should be given here so all these details are the same now what I will do I will just uh, delete this file from here because I don't need it this is just for the experimenting purpose but now you can see that this is the file that I have created after that let's write git add git commit and uh, what you can say upload file uh, uploaded file in the s3 bucket using go git push origin mean now you can see if i show you the details let me just go to the here github now you can see that uh, uh, uploaded file in the s3 bucket using go similarly as you can see here that these are some of the files that are not modified yet so i will write uh, go, go back cd git add and uh, git commit uh, like uh, what you can say modific uh, added added the dependencies like this 
git push origin main so the dependencies of the go mode file are also added here so let's refresh this 21 commits will be like this yeah so yeah so this is done now so i hope you understood and like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye